Been there. Don't know why. Dodgy internet. Country internet. I don't want to come back. Yep. Yeah, sorry about that. We lost our stream. Um, doing a bit of leg grapple strength training, a bit of a mixture. So uh, we were just streaming, we lost our stream. I saw some funny comments. Someone said, pick a side, please. <laughs> no, you gotta do both sides. Um, that was funny, I like that one. Pick a side. <laughs> um, all right. And hopefully everyone was seeing there, like we're trying to work up training with a grapple dummy into a bit of a strength routine but it's also applicable to wrestling or um, uh, grappling or um, ch uh, Chinese wrestling or whatever, judo, whatever stuff. Obviously, the better you are at those things, the better you'll do at them. All right, the better you'll be able to grapple, but we're just, we're just doing a bit and pieces now. Grapple dummy. All right. So we've basically been doing some lunges. I'll put this here. So grapple dummy is about, oh, probably about 40 kilos or something. Let's see, we've got some comments, people back. Yeah, stream, I don't know, stream just crashed. Anyway, let's, let's stretch the legs, get some oxygen into those legs again with those stances. So again, we've got crouch, yeah. The horse, horse stance, the crouch, yeah. We're gonna extend that to the side, push our leg out. Yeah, and we're gonna lengthen and strengthen that. In between our routine. If you get tired, go back to the middle, very wider than you'd usually go. Let the muscles stretch. And then wide on this side, hip flat, not like this. Yeah, that's a different. Stand, bow arrow, pull up with the legs like, poof. yeah? As if you're trying to float on your heel. Yeah, and you get this tension going through under the leg. That's the, uh, that's the correct way to really energize, yeah? And play with uh, being on your heel, with your toes raised, and play with being on your toes, the ball of your foot, with your heel raised ever so slightly. <sighs> Don't care about your hands too much. Your hands should just remind you of the alignment of your hips and body. <sighs> That's why when I see people doing Tai Chi with their hands, not doing anything with their legs, you're pretty much wasting your time. Remember, lengthen and strengthen. All right. All right, so what have we been doing? Let's straighten out our mat a little. So we've been doing like a gross movement lift, haven't we? I'll comment out first. Who's on? Nate says you're in great shape for how big your biceps are. Oh, the camera, camera trickery. I'm only about this big. All right. So let's go. So what were we doing? Well, there's a big comment there. I'll have a look at that in a second. So what we're doing? We're trying to do a bit of a martial arts workout, but with a bit of and legs. But we're, so we don't want to be so bored during squats, they're not that functional. So, so bridge the gap. If you're good at wrestling, you can do this better than me. Um, and we're not doing the one where you lunge with the knee. Yeah, we're not doing that one yet because we're just going to do this one. Don't want people busting their knee. So we're just going to step in, big step. 
Yeah. And as you stand up, you're going to take it for a lunge. Yeah. I suppose if you really want to, you can just do it from here and just go with the lunge. Yeah. But I like to do it with a big step because it kind of adds a bit of martial artsiness into it. Yeah. So a big step. Blah, blah, blah. You'd be surprised how tiring these are. Big step. You don't have to go super fast. Big step. Big step. If you really want to be evil, you can put me in first. Yeah. Me in first. Yeah. Me. Sides. Big step. Big step. Big step. And of course, in real life, you know this would be big step. Yep. Okay. Without them lying on top of you. But if they do, then oh well, you can take it into your control guard. But we'll do those in a minute. That's the problem with the bottom heavy back. Alright. One more on the other side. Big step. That one wasn't that great. Alright. Alright guys, get the idea of that. Whew. Another cool thing about that is um, you can really get into chucking the background, doing your movements, and uh, really cardioing yourself. Oh. All right. Again, it's not about the throw. Loads of people do the throw better than me. It's just about the leg training. Let's see the commenter. <laughs> Storyman says, have you heard of Milo Corton? Oh, no, I haven't actually. Milo Corton, ancient Greek wrestler, said to have trained by carrying baby calves every day as he grew up until it was fully grown. That's cool. Yeah, Nate, the dude who used weights. Okay, so we've done that. Obviously, the more, the, the, the more applicable variation of that you can do is the old knee collapse, which I hate, but it's awesome, but I don't like it. Um, obviously, where you collapse the knee down, and then you step up, and usually take the person in whatever opposite direction. Yeah, so take them that way, um, or that way. Yeah, probably this way, actually. Yeah? So you, you can practice that one too to build up your wrestling and build up your legs. But you've got to get used to that kind of like weird knee collapse that they do. Yeah? Yeah? And if you've got bad knees, it's no good for you. But I find, not that I'm an expert on it, but I find that if you allow some of the weight to lean on this, on the person, then you can collapsing on your knee, you can get that distance. Yep. And, and it doesn't knack your knee as much, but I'm no wrestling expert, so. And remember, we're just trying to do a leg workout now. All right. Okay, so. So we'll do some, <laughs> funny as this looks, we'll just do some holds here. Sometimes I like holding the belt but usually I'll put it in the middle. You can hold the belt sort of in the middle. But I've got this gi set up, so we'll just hold the bag. Hold the bag. I know this looks ridiculous. Just grip with your knees. I oh, know this looks ridiculous. Chuck them up onto your shoulder. 
Grip with your knee. Chuck them up onto your shoulder. Grip with your knee. Chuck them up onto your shoulder. Grip with your knee. Chuck them up onto your shoulder. We'll put them down now. Hold on with your knees, it's ridiculous, I know. We're going to go into a pistol. Choose one. Just on the right. Between sets, you can do some nice shimawaza grips as well. So this hand like this, this hand like this. This grip. Oh. With it tied on usually. So here's an example of the belt in the middle. It's a belt in the middle. Sometimes we get it bounced. chains. Already you can see guys that, I mean I know I've been on and off, out a bit with moving house and my little guy, little lad. Whew. But the other day I went running with my my uh, 12 kilo bar around a couple of kilometers and every every couple of hundred meters I did 
loads of exercises. So this one, uh, sorry, 15 kilos. So run with it, run, 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 run. Every couple of kilometers, or sorry, every couple of hundred meters, you do like 30 of these, you do like 30 presses, 30 tricep extensions, 30 upright rows, uh, 30 prayer, everything. And this little workout here is hitting just as well. Okay. Whew. Please do like, subscribe, follow the channel. Okay, let's see what comments we got. We'll do some squats then. Storyman says, is your kid doing good and healthy? Yeah, um, well the bag's a four foot, I think. Four foot bag. I think it weighs about 40 kilos, 30 something, 40 kilos. All right. Let me redo his belt. Then we'll get onto some squats. Here's a yellow belt. Alrighty. And you can cut, obviously, you don't need me to tell you. You can come up with your own routine. You don't have to freaking just do whatever you want. Whatever. Whatever suits you. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you find fun. If you want to look like a fool round, rolling around, then look like a fool. But you won't look like a fool every day. And unless you got ego, because then you're a fool. But if you don't have ego and you just train, you know, just that's all you need. Yeah. Just like this, it's ridiculous. If someone looked in the window, saw me jumping around with his bag. Alright, let's do some squats. Let's see. So again, this is good because it gets you to lower that center of gravity when you do stuff. I've actually done a functional throw on someone just like that, where I was fighting them. I went down into all stance. I just lifted them and then suplexed them backwards onto their front. <laughs> so front, front suplex. All right. So let's go for some squats. <coughs> Right. One. Oh, hold on a minute. Do you know what? I might do them alternating shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Alternate. Alternate. Down. I'll watch that on the neck. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. 
Take a bit of rest. Okay, let's see what we got. Storyman says, appreciate the live streams, get me thinking creatively about training. Yeah, so, I mean, look, what have we done there? So we've done, we've just done like lunges and lifting the bag, lunges and lifting the bag. Um, the idea that you could throw it and suplex, which is always nice. Some squat lifts, which are always good too. Um, and then, then we've done uh, a couple of pistols, where actually I advise that you hold it on the opposite side and your pistol on the opposite side. Because when I was going on the same side, it didn't feel too great. Um, and then we did some squats, alternating sides, some in the middle squats. But because the bag's uneven, you turn it around, you do it on the other side. Some holding, gripping with the knees. That's a big thing, part of wrestling and BJJ, is that gripping with the knees. So, might do a bit of that now, actually. As silly as it is. I'll just grab my breath. In fact, uh, it's funny because in the 72C Good Arts of Shaolin, there's a training exercise called um, ringing around a tree where you grab a tree and you squeeze it with your knees and you squeeze it with your arms and you pull into it. And they used to use that as a bit of a strength, toughening, wrestling exercise. And it really does work. Um, but of course, if we go around holding trees and hugging them, people think we're weird. So you can do it with your boxing bag. If it's hanging, you just grip it, grip it with your knees. Um, obviously it's a bit softer on the body, so it's not gonna do as much, but it's a good little training method. <sighs> Excellent. Thank you to Storyman for joining in and all the other guys. I tell you what, my legs are feeling really well worked out. Oh, there we go. Storyman says I was gonna ask about ringing around a tree. Yep, so same thing, man. Same exercise. <laughs> yeah. To train the legs, the inside of the legs like horse stance, would be useful for riding horses as well. All right. And fresh air now. Okay, we've been doing a lot of legs, uh, so we'll do the arms a bit with the bar. So let me tilt this camera up. Yep. So this is a great tool. Just a uh, 15 kilo or 20 kilo metal bar. You can buy them, they're called torsion bars, but if you go to, um, if you go to like an auto fabricator or welders or something, a machine, metal, metal supplier, they'll cut you a piece of bar like this for like nothing. But if you buy it in the shops from like 5.11 or whatever, you'll be spending endless amounts of money on freaking bars. So we've done, we done a fair amount of stuff on the legs, lifting the, lifting the grapple dummy, the boxing bag in squats, 
lifting it in lunges. Uh, so we'll do a bit of arms now. So we'll just do 30 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, start on a tie, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. A few months ago, 30, I was doing like between 70 and 90 of these. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, strengthen those tendons. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, oh, let's go to 50, 41, 42, 43, 44, really work down 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, alrighty. To press, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. 70, 80, 90, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 30, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, that's forty. Let's see if we can if we can get fifty. One, two, three, four, five. It's only fifteen kilos. Two. There we go. So we done we done fifty curls, fifty presses with uh, the fifteen kilo bar. Now I'm just holding it to take a rest. Nice thick bar as well. Change hands. Fifty curls. 50 presses, just hold it, get your breath. Don't put it down. Upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 20, let's go to 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. One, two, three, four, five, three. Feel the pain. One, two, three, four, five, thirty five. One, two, three, four, five, forty. One, two, three, four, five, forty five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hold it. So, fifty curls, fifty presses. 50 upright rows, keep a hold of it. Some oxygen in this room. Hold it to the other arm. It's really good for the grip. I'll get to the questions in a second. Maybe we'll do, we'll try to do 50 tricep extensions. Roll it, roll it the other way. Oh, great for the forearms. All right. Okay, strictly I'm not putting it down. We're resting on our bones here. Do a bit of conditioning. Notice I'm keeping it on the bone, I'm not rolling. I'm keeping it on the bone. Ship. Thanks for the likes and subs, people, and the thumbs up. Dare we try 30 tricep extensions? Oh, let's try. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, four, one, two, three, four, oh, evil, one, two, three, four, blood, oh, fuck, 30, sorry about swearing, oh. Tell you what, guys. Oh. I'll get to the questions now. Oh. 
Thanks for the thumbs up guys, so man, I can't believe we used to do like 70 of those, honestly. So we did, we done the leg stuff with the bag, uh, what is it, lunges, lunge lifts, squat lifts, some pistols with the bag, some squats with the bag, this, this big grapple dummy. Then, then we did um, 50 curls, 50 presses, 50 upright rows, uh, 50 tricep extensions, trying to get them in one go. Okay, let's see what, see what comments we got. Okay. Inventor says, I use gloves and bicycle handlers in order to avoid touching metal because it's grounding and the energy. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, mine's, um, mine's just like rusty. Mine's just cheap and rusty. Good for the iron palm though. Do you think you can lift and call me? I weigh 160 pounds. How much is 160 in kilos? Storyman says, yeah, but grounding is good for you. Benefits the pH chemical balance. Invent says, interesting exercise. Storyman, can you do handstand push-ups? And do you have advice for walk, working towards handstand push-ups? <sighs> Sorry guys, just regaining my afternoon. I think 72. What's Nate on? Oh, 72 kilos. Whew, that's a good amount of weight. Yeah, I rec reckon I could lift 70 kilos. Not too much hassle. Because I've got a bigger boxing bag that weighs at least that probably. Just need to get rid of this lactic acid, guys. It's open there. Oh, tell you what. Been a few, been a, a while since I've had to do that. Hundred and five kilos. I can lift a hundred kilos. I used to squat it, um, but yeah, it'd probably be difficult. Oh, it's difficult to get your oxygen and talk. If you, obviously with a human, you know, with wrestling and grappling, if you do it in the right way. <sighs> That's all right. Guys, I think I think that's me. That's me for the day. Well, not for the day, but for now. Um, need to go and catch my oxygen.
I'll give you some advice story man on the handstands, but I'll have to do it on another message or something. I don't know, uh, with the door closed in here, maybe it's been too much like carbon dioxide build up or something. Or maybe I'm just freaking not as trained as I used to be. But uh, I'm gonna call it now for that. <sighs> I'm gonna go and lie on the floor or something, try and get my oxygen back. <sighs> That's the problem with having a little baby, is that just don't get to train as much as you want to. And then you jump. <laughs> Then you jump right back into one of your training sessions and you realize that you're not as young as you used to be. But yeah, thanks a lot guys. Please do like, sub, support the channel. Um, thanks for tuning in. Now I'm gonna press pause on this and just die on the floor and vomit and explode. Um, even though it doesn't feel like I actually worked out that much, but all right. Cool guys, see you around. These are the eyes of someone in pain. <laughs> no, they're, they're not, they're all right. <sighs> I'll let you know how long it took me to recover. Nearly there, all right.